Hey everyone, um, I'm going to try to make this a short, quick video update. I only have one battery bar left in my camera. I can charge it, but I just... I want to just get this done and over with, because I haven't done this for a while. Uh, a couple things. Um, it's been two weeks since my last update. I'm now 32 weeks. Or, <laughs> I'm 31 weeks. But, uh, I'll be 32 weeks tomorrow at this time. Um, crazy. She is due in, like, 56 days, I think. It's crazy. Um, I'm feeling alright. I've just been really tired. Sleep has been crappy, which is why I haven't done any video updates. Um, and I was supposed to see the OB today, but I didn't. Um, because I'm sick. <laughs> My throat is kind of messed up, and I just didn't feel good. I was tired this morning, and it just wasn't happening. Um, now my OB office doesn't have where you can call to let them know ahead of time if you need to cancel unless you have a later in the day appointment. Um, they don't have any answering service and they don't have um, an answering machine where you can leave a message. So when I called to reschedule today, they were mad at me. And I'm like, what was I supposed to do? I didn't know on Friday I was going to be sick. I got sick yesterday when I woke up, you know? It was just kind of BS, but whatever. Um, so my mom bought me some of this children's Tylenol. It's really delicious. Um, it tastes like bubble gum and I love it. Uh, so between that and hot cocoa, which is empty right now, but I've been drinking hot cocoa. Uh, that's been helping my throat a lot. Anything warm is great on it. Anything cold hurts, but I love my ice water, so, uh, whatever. <coughs> uh, Um, let's see, we took Kyle to the dentist and he had a filling put in one of his two teeth, <laughs> in one of his teeth, uh, because it was hurting him a lot and, um, like every day the pain was just getting worse and worse. So we took him and my mom lent us the money to take him so we wouldn't have to wait till payday and I'm gonna pay her back for that. And then, uh, we got him some new glasses and they look pretty sexy. Um, he looks really good in them, and he can see for once. <laughs> so, finally, um, the, the moment we got in my car after he put them on, he's like, let's go make a YouTube video, and I'm like, not yet, not, just calm down, we will, and we're going to just, uh, I think we have a name picked out, we have an email address already, but, um, we haven't set up a YouTube account or anything. Um, let's see, um, I guess I can read you what to expect for 31 weeks, and then uh, you know, for the 32 weeks I'll read you that too, but... Okay... And then this will probably be the end of my update. Um... Okay, you're ba- hold on, one second. Okay. I'll make sure I had enough battery. Your baby in week 31 of pregnancy, weighing in at 3 plus pounds and measuring 18 inches long. Oh yeah, my baby, uh, I had an ultrasound last Thursday, and she is 3 pounds 12 ounces, so, er, yeah, 312 I think it was. So she's getting there. Uh, your baby is quickly approaching her birth length, though, uh, hold on. Alrighty, um, let's see where they both. Um. Your baby is quickly approaching her birth length, though she's got to pack on another 3 to 5 pounds before D-Day. Also developing an impressive clip, uh, your baby's brain connections, she's got to make trillions of them. Um, she's now processing information, information, tracking light, and perceiving signals from all five senses. She's also putting in longer stretches of sleep, which is why you are probably noticing more defined patterns of wakefulness and movement and rest when she's pretty still. Which, yes. <laughs> um, she, she tends to, like, sleep for a couple hours, and she's awake for a couple hours and sleeps, and it's kind of life I wish I had. <laughs> um, like a cat. <laughs> Uh, your body in week 31. Chances are your diaphragm is feeling a little cramped these days. Okay, a lot cramped. That's because your uterus is pushing up against it and all the other organs in there, crowding your lungs, making it more difficult for them to expand fully. The result, your body is spare on air and will be until your baby drops near the end of pregnancy in preparation for birth. But don't worry, your baby is as happy as a clam because she's getting her oxygen from the placenta. Lucky baby. <laughs> uh... 
Week 31 pregnancy tip, how a baby responds to sex. Uh, parental lovemaking and orgasm can have an intense, excuse me, interesting effect on babies in the womb, as you may have noticed. Some babies are very quiet after their parents have sex, rocked to sleep by the rhythmic movement perhaps, while others become frisky themselves. Hey, where's the party? Both responses are completely normal and in no way indicate that your baby is aware of what's going on. Just that she is having fun going along for the ride. So keep on enjoying your sex life and your orgasms as much as you like. And for as long as you can, which with your practitioner's approval and a few advanced twister type moves, can be right up until the delivery day. After all, pretty soon making love with a baby in the house won't be so won't be quite so easy or convenient. Uh, the symptoms? More frequent urination. I feel like every hour. It's annoying. Your uterus puts more pressure on your bladder in the third trimester, giving it less room to store urine. Cut down on the bathroom trips by double vo by double voiding. Pee, then when you're done, pee again. That'll make sure you've emptied your bladder completely. I've tried this, and I don't know how they do it, because when I go pee, I empty it out. And I can't pee again. <laughs> Um, occasional headaches. If tension is twisting your head up in knots, try spending a few minutes in the dark, in a dark, quiet room. If you're at work, close your eyes, put your feet up for 15 minutes. I'd fall asleep if I did that here. <laughs> Varicose veins. Don't have to worry about that. Possible nasal congestion. Well, I'm sick, but as if a swollen belly, feet, and fingers weren't enough, now you may be contending with swollen nasal passages, making for one stuffy feeling. You'll get relief when you deliver, but until the saline sprays or nasal drips can help clear up the stuffiness, antihistamines and nasal sprays are usually off limits, but check with your practitioner for other recommendations. Holy crap, I have six notifications on Facebook ever since I started this video. Uh, lower abdomen achiness, I've got that. Blame that growing belly of yours again for these growing pains around your middle. The best thing to do, yep, you know the drill, get off your feet for a while. Uh, back aches, that <coughs> burgeoning belly can also do a number on your back as it curves to accommodate the load. If you haven't already, now is the time to incorporate some prenatal yoga into your exercise routine. The stretches will relax your back and your mind. Increasing clumsiness, <laughs> your shifting posture, not to mention your increasing girth, and lack of concentration, see below, may make you clumsier these days. Take it easy when you're climbing into the shower or tub and roll up any area rugs that you could trip that could trip you up at home. Yeah, I'm very clumsy anymore. <laughs> Welcome to mommy to be brain, a condition that's a result of shrinking brain cell volume in the third trimester. Don't worry, your brain cells will go back to normal a few months after delivery. Don't stress ab out about your foggy memory. Stress just makes it worse. Write things down or program them into your smartphone, like I have that, and delegate responsibly, if possible and difficulty sleeping, which I've got that too. This is another common third trimester woe, caused by a constellation of other conditions such as leg cramps, heartburn, frequent urination, and platelet anxiety with a dash of pregnancy hormones. If tension keeps you tossing and turning all night, take it out. Talk it out with friends or other what to expect members or your partner during the day. I talk to Cal about everything. So. All right, well, I'm gonna end this here because that was quick and short and sweet, right? Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!